hit the windmill. A mama rabbit. Mama rabbit. Gotcha. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark. Um. What the fuck? Sharks do not belong in the forest, friend. Oh, okay, I can like flop around with space bar, okay? Come on, come on, buddy. You can do it. There we go. Whee! Is there like a river or some shit I can flop into? Or I rolled off a cliff uh, and into the ocean. Now, I was hungrier than ever. Okay. This is so weird. What the fuck? is going on. I want it. I want it. There it is. Seals. I don't want to eat a seal. I like seals. Oh fuck. Okay, these controls are up, please. Up. There we go. Okay. Seals. Yes, please. Where is he? Where did he go? There you are. I see you. I see you. Fuck. Fuck. Gotcha. I tore off this is flipper. rather... Really good. Jesus. This is really uncomfortable. I don't like you, small child. You are highly disquieting. And... I'm assuming... Oh, there you are. Grabbed on tight. And when I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. What the fuck? Is that my tongue? Confused about what's happening here. All right. What the fuck am I exactly? Oh, I see. Okay, I gotta extend that out and then click. And it tugs me forward. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Are we gonna eat people now? I would like to avoid eating people, if at all possible. Captain Finch Fishing Company. Now I was a monster, and I smelled people everywhere. No! Can we not do that? Small, terrifying child. Is that the bird again? It is. Alright. This is horrible. I guess we're following the sound of golden oldies over here, or whatever the hell is happening. Ugh, this is so weird and creepy. I don't like it. Are we gonna eat like our father? Ah, oh, shit. Alright, here. Real quiet. Yeah. This is so. Ah! Oh, God. Not quite what I was expecting, I confess. This is really, really creepy. And weird, and I don't like it. Uh, wait, we'll probably have to go upstairs. <sighs> I don't like... I wanted to stop 
awesome. But also, I did it. Because you're terrifying and creepy. Eat him with a monster. Super duper duper uncomfortable. I'm not sure if this is. I don't know. I don't know what I'm supposed to take from this exactly, but it's definitely effective. How do I get up where you are? Because presumably I can't. I can safely say that this is not what I was expecting out of this game in the slightest. And after the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I swam to the Something I had to have, so I swam towards it. You are f fucked up, kid. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. This is incredibly weird. Like, I don't even have anything else to say. This is just incredibly, incredibly weird. I assume there's a point that this is leading. Oh, dear. Okay. Great. Are we back home again? I got closer again? and closer. Oh, hey, it's my bedroom. Am I gonna eat myself dreaming about all this shit? All my stomach started growling. And suddenly, I was me again. I held my breath for a long time, but I couldn't hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be, and we both know, I will be delicious. Uh-uh. What the shit? Okay, well that was creepy as hell. I'm not sure health. if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. I was promised no jump scares. There's not going to be a monster waiting behind me when I look around, right? Okay. What the fuck was that all about? Gee. Jesus. Okay. Uh, alright, so I that's where we came in. I grew up in Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. <laughs> in here. Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own even tinier gerbil cage. Oh, That's cute. Okay. Uh. Now what? I can't describe it. <laughs> I, I, I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Mildly creepy, okay. I don't know what to do now. Do I leave? I don't think I leave. You don't really like it in here. This kid was creeptastical. Oh, aha. Here we go. Oh, look, it's a cat. This will be obvious okay, later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Though, 
When we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to someone maybe slightly less I twisted. I spent a lot of time in Great Grandma Edie's room. A lot of what are these bird cages? Except they've got paintings in them. Oh, she painted all her pets. Huh. Okay. We got along, and it was a good place okay. to hide from my mom. Her room was like a museum. Okay. Sven and Edie. <laughs> for 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house, hoping to leave the curse behind. But 40-foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Odin's daughter oh, Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Alright, well that was whoops. Odd. How do I get out of this? I get it, we've read all of it. How do I leave? Um <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay, that was interesting. Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Am I gonna end up dead at the end of this? That's upsetting. Odin Finch joining the great majority. Okay, so that's Odin then, I think. That was her father. Her great grandmother's father, rather. Uh, pillbox, oxygen. Edie knit me a new pair of gloves every year, just in time to replace the old ones. Aw, is that us, then? Lewis or? died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. Huh. This is so weird. Built 1937, Sven Finch. One summer, they evacuated the island, but Edie refused to go. For a few weeks, she was a celebrity. <laughs> I hadn't thought of myself as Edith Jr. for a long, long time. Edith Jr. Lake Trip. <laughs> Edie gave a big interview about a mole man living under the Finch house. My mom was furious. <laughs> this is so weird. Even in her 90s. No idea where any Sometimes of Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Bathroom. The only trace Grandpa Sam's labeled... first wife Kay left on the house was the pink bathroom. <laughs> it Wasn't was this door labeled? Uh, uh, wasn't this door labeled what's his face? Uh, Calvin or somebody who only lived a year? There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven and Edie Finch. Okay. There's a secret in this bathroom. It's in the last place what you would look. Fuck? It isn't in the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. Oh. 
Uh-huh. Okay. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. <laughs> this really is like Gone Home. We got a dark room and everything. Calvin Finch. Born. What is that, 50? Oh, I thought he lived only a year. Maybe I'm misremembering. Alright. I don't really know what's going on here. So we have a dark room. Milton's been here too. This is uh, Sam and, and what's his face's room. Oh no, someone it was someone else who lived only a year. Calvin lived ten and shared the bedroom with Sam. Right, I remember this now. Okay. Hi. Hi friends. Calvin clearly wanted to be an astronaut. And Sam wanted to join the military? Odin Finch National Park, huh? Okay. Uh, can I not get? I knew over Grandpa this? Sam had a uh -huh, twin. Here we go. And that he never talked about him. Command center. <laughs> That's cool. I like this bedroom design. That'd be really neat. Uh, I guess we'll go up to the command center, see what's up there. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Aha! Here we go. How Journal. I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finch. The thing I remember is that when he made up his mind, that was it. My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. At Barbara's funeral, he swore he'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. Oh no, I know where this is going and I don't like it. Stop! Calvin! Dinner's ready! Coming! Oh no. But that day, he finally oh, made up his no. mind to do it. Oh no. I told him going around was impossible. Maybe if I hadn't oh, said no. that. Oh no! I'm not gonna tell you again! Maybe if the wind hadn't picked up. Then oh, maybe no. he'd still be here. But I doubt it. I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Oh no. I don't like it. I don't wanna. Am I supposed to do something extra here? Maybe hit space? Come on, buddy. Oh, I think I have to time it right. There we go. Or maybe jump at the top, or I don't really know what's going on here. I feel like I'm missing something. No, okay, uh, yeah, we're getting higher. I gotta time it right, forward and back. Ah, uh, Calvin, this is a terrible idea. Please don't. Ah, uh, shit. Oh, 
shit! Huh? Oh no! The day he made it was 9 o'clock. And he did. Upsetting. Calvin's story felt strangely Shit. familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. Poor kid. Okay, so I guess the purpose here is we gotta find out everyone's story. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. 